I watched the video and I left a comment still pending approval in that particular video student shows you the Geda student I have a great respect for Nikolai Geda is an ultra lieutenant he's one of the best and he was showing our Navajo E reaching high C for example and he says if you can sing it on E then you can sing it on any vowel first of all uh, what does it teach you I mean it doesn't teach you how to sing on E <laughs> It just tells you that you can and he shows actually what he shows is okay but the thing is that he doesn't show a sustained note he just shows a short passage towards high C when you pause a video and you show that you can do that without understanding what you're actually doing without knowing the whole mechanism of what you're doing so in this case um, let me construction outside construction inside sorry about that Okay, is it really easy to sing on A high note than on E? It seems to be the case in opera. Uh, I'll give you an example. For, if you're a really big fan of Luciano Pavarotti, no, I would say fan probably would not notice that. But if you are following Luciano Pavarotti, you know Luciano Pavarotti very well, that you should know that you always avoided singing on high notes the E vowel. Like, alarmi, alarmi, alarm! Alarm, not alarmi like Corelli. In fact, E is very easy on head voice sound, quite more difficult on A. Why? If you don't understand why, there's no way you can actually master this. Of course, you need to practice and feel the voice in the sense. But let me explain you why. First of all, E is a closed vowel. It means that we either pronounce E with natural E way the mouth when you speak E, so you sing that way or you open your mouth there's another technique and you put your tongue to block and to make it E sound like it can be E or can be E uh, I would recommend to choose your personal position the, the most important thing is that if you use your tongue then you have to make sure that it does not make your voice woofy it does not cut your projection it's very important if it cuts your projection then rightful saying that don't put your tongue up but again it's very individual so if it doesn't cut your projection that you can use this raised tongue to sing E or you can use more natural way I prefer more natural it depends of course and of course this is challenging because your throat has to be open and your mouth has to be closed so that's not very intuitive as they say now E and this open so first I would recommend you to try to sing E vowel on yon e, e. when you sing on yon you still have your acoustic chamber resonating so you can sing a very full pledged high high E on high C but again in order to sing that high notes you have to actually follow low larynx E E E, 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 e. Now, showing this exercise with e. I don't think it's more difficult. I just have to find a different support for that because the placement is a little bit weird, especially for the high C. Okay, this is uh, the one Pavarotti avoids to sing the way it's written is Alarmi, 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 which Corelli does beautifully. <laughs> which has a great technique still it would never do things like this what it tells you that Pavarotti is less singer than Domingo or, or anybody 
In this realm, of course not. It's his personal technique that allows him to do that. Now, of course, what Pavarotti does is in this case. <laughs> disappointment, Pavarotti almost never sang in the right key. At least uh, in La Scala, they really check out the keys. In La Scala, it's very dangerous not to sing in the right key, because even if you really sing well, some people may boo you there, because they come either with perfect pitches or with the camera tones, and they check out if you're really singing this aria on, oh, who cares that in North America? I mean, you can sing it in B flat, and people, and uh, beautifully. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, kind of a controversy in that because what is important of course as uh, old great masters used to say that the singer should sing in his own key Caccini what uh, I was saying about this you should sing in your own key it means that let's say the opera general ensembles are written for everyone but when you come and you sing let's say straight you can sing in a B flat or B what in A if you like if, if that suits your voice because Caccini said that is more beautiful of course when you put everyone in a in the same procrast bad and you want to sing in that way or that way that is making more challenges for the beauty of the same but on the other hand the traditions of opera were always to respect the key the original key that composer wrote and among opera singers it's always kind of it's a matter of pride it's a matter of show off if you like but that's the part of the opera when you speaking about Neapolitan opera theaters or uh, Milano La Scala you will have people coming and checking out which key you're singing. Pavarotti was booed in La Scala many times, not for his little cracks, but because he sang it lower. So in Di Quella Pira was in a B, the most popular key, which is not an original key. Thank you very much. I hope this video gave you some new knowledge about some vowels and support. You should experiment with your own voice and find out which vowels are easier for you to sing. Don't take it for granted that this E is easy or I is easy. No, it's, it depends on the phrasing, it depends on your particular voices. Again, I said that the falsetto is easier to sing with E sound, like ah. Even with falsetto, E has a little of a squillo, if you like. With even falsetto, E has a little bit of a squillo. That's why E is very suitable for falsetto sounds. Again, Geda was a lighter tenor than Pavarotti, and you should consider that too. It was a really ultra lyric tenor, Geda. As Pavarotti was full lyric Italian, we're talking about a different league here. Though both amazing technicians and amazing singers. Thank you very much. And I'm still waiting for the answer for the Geddes student.